Hello, what's up guys? This is your friend Manak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel. So friends, in this video, we'll discuss about the building plan of a G plus one building. As you can see, the plot area is quite large, but in this portion, we have a curve. You can see the length of the plot is 72 feet plus 75 feet, which is 147 feet and the width is also 48 feet but from here the plot is curved and the client requirement was that we had to make the building in this portion only and the front portion was to be left vacant now let us see what have we planned for our client as you can see here is a bedroom in the southwest direction so the southwest direction is the best position for bedroom as per vastu and we also have a toilet here with separate space for bathing. The toilet size is 7 feet 8 inches into 5 feet which is sufficient enough. Now moving on to this living hall. You can see the living hall has this picturesque view of the staircase. So as you can see in the staircase, this is a type of bifurcated staircase. So the person will climb the staircase through this portion and then he can go through this portion or this portion. So it gives a beautiful look to the living room by this bifurcated staircase. Now moving on, we have the puja room here. Now the direction of this puja room is the northeast, which is the best position of puja room as per Vastu. And we also have the dining and kitchen here. Now the kitchen is in the southeast direction, which is also the best position as per Vastu. And another advantage of this dining and kitchen unit is that it maintains its privacy. That is, if people come and take dinner or breakfast or whatever food, they can do it without the knowledge of the people in the living hall. So you have a kitchen of size 11 feet 3 inches into 7 feet and a dining hall of size 8 feet 3 inches into 13 feet 5 inch. So now moving on we have another bedroom here of size 12 feet into 14 feet. We have here a common toilet for both of these bedrooms and for other peoples in the living hall. You can see the window placement also. Sufficient considerations have been given for ventilation. You can see a window and so two windows in this bedroom and in this bedroom also we have two windows and all the toilets have ventilators and we have also kept a door here so that a person can do some gardening here. Now let us move forward to our first floor plan. So in the first floor as you can see that it is a beautiful plan here the first floor person can come to the first floor to this portion and we have an open to sky portion here that is given for sunlight to enter and the material of this OTS could be fiberglass or any other material. So sufficient sunlight has been maintained in the first floor and the bedrooms and the toilets are similar to the toilets and bedrooms in the ground floor. The difference is that we have a wonderful balcony at the front at which we can insert some interior plants and we can sit here for breakfast or for relaxing. We also have a meeting hall here in the place where we had dining hall and kitchen in our ground floor. We have also put a storeroom here as per our clients requirements. So as you can see in this area we have tried to make the best possible plan for our client. I would also take this opportunity to say that we provide services of building planning, structural drawings, 3D exterior and interior and India to our clients. So if you are interested to make your plan and get your plan customized by us, please go to the description below and make use of it. So friends, if you had found this video useful, please do hit the like button and share as much as you can with your friends. Thanks for watching and if you have any suggestions in this plan, you can comment below or if you want to watch more such videos, do comment. Bye.